Hey guys, what's going on? Sevi, and guess what? Two uploads in one day, and I'm feeling good. So I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial. I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial. Um, well, today I'm gonna show you. Well, a lot of you have asked about how you add, like, when you're making in you know, your Cinema 4D, how you create a bed sheet or a cloth onto like a bed for a model room or something. I'm gonna do a really quick tutorial. Because a lot of you don't like like the long tutorials. Some of you do, some of you don't. So I'm just gonna make it quick. I always say that, and I always go like 20 minutes, but I'm gonna try and make this really quick. Uh, so what you want to do is get your house, create your house. It's way too wide. <laughs> uh, yeah, create your house. Da -da -da -da. Pull it out, go that up, up, up. So you got your house. Go indoors. Maybe it wasn't. Okay, so I got my house. Basic cube. Then you want to go cube. And you want to actually no, screw the house. Sorry, no no house for right now. You want to create your base floor by going up to cube and just using these little yellow bars to create like a base for your bed. And I'm gonna make that a bit shorter. So that's a base for my for the bed. Then I'm gonna go. Control C, Control V. Alright, Control C, yeah. So two cubes. Then you want to go up to cube and you want to go down to object. And you want to go fill it down here. Click on that. And you want to make it a bit more mattress like. So 23 is good because it's round. And yeah, that works. Okay, so now you got your mattress. It's a bit high, so maybe thin your mattress down if you are, I'm not sure. Um, you guys can take as long as you want to make it as clean as you want, but I'm just gonna rush on time. Um, so you've got that, and now you want to go create another cube and do the exact same thing in the sort of, um smaller proportions. So you want to go down, across, drag in, and then you want to angle it. So these are gonna be uh gonna be your pillows. Do the same thing with objects. Fill it down bottom right here and 6.3 that's fine drag it down to your bed cross down and as you can see that pillow is not big enough so you just drag it out drag it up yeah okay, so now you've got that your two pillows um it's not really in line is it Long pillars. Okay, so you've got your pillows, you've got your bed, you've got everything. Cubes, they're fine. What you want to do is you want to go up to a plane. So you got your plane. So imagine that as the bed sheet. You want it to go all the way around. You can do this by scroll clicking and you get in there. So just make sure it's in line and that looks pretty good. So that's in line. So you've got your bed sheet. You don't want to offer the pillows really. And like halfway across the pillows. So you've got that. Now you want to go up to plane. You want to right click on it. And you want to go down to um, simulation tags. And you want to click on cloth. So there's a little man with a shirt on. Then you want to go to your cubes and you want to make your mattress editable. So you want to go down to make editable. Right clicking on the cube. So you get this little triangle and that means it's editable. Ed uh, sorry, editable. Then you can go to simulation tags and you click on cloth collider. And now if you go down to your frames bar and you click on two or five, I'm hoping this works. No, it did not work. Why does that not work? Make editable. Oh, there we go. Just wasn't working for me for some reason. So you have to both you have to make both of them editable. 
Uh, that goes back there. So make plane and cube editable. And you want to make your cube plane a bit smaller actually. You don't want it so big, so I'm just going to go back steps and make it smaller. So make your so you like that. That's about right there. And now you want to go same thing again. I'm just going to quickly go over it. Plane, make editable. Mattress, make editable. Uh, you want to go to sketch simulation tags. You want to go cloth for your, um, let's say, donor cover. And you want to go cube and you want to go simulation tags, cloth collider. And basically what that is, that the collider just anything that touches the collider, the cloth sticks to. So it's fairly basic. Um, you go to five, how many frames you want, and there you go. Then you've got your, the bad thing about this, you can't go back in frames. You have to go from zero to like 10, and I'll slowly do it, as you can see. So you have to start from zero and then just pull it and see where it lands. So that's looking good there. It's not on the pillows because I didn't make them editable. I should have done that. Um, I'll quickly do that now, actually. Uh, two pillows. Make editable. <laughs> Sorry, that's going to get repetitive. Um, simulation tags. Cloth collider. Down. Plane. Zero. Play. No, play doesn't work. You just have to drag and see what happens. Ah, uh, my Cinema 4D is a giant turd. Oh, it, for some reason it took off my collider. It's weird. Cloth collider. That's cloth. Okay, now. Okay, there you go. See how you've got the actual mattress over it. And then if you go to my other tutorials, which I'll link below, it'll tell you how to add textures and stuff. Um, if you want to get a good look of it, like a nice looking um, light texture, all you have to do is click on the light and you want to go drag it back to a certain position. Now I'll have two, so now you've got your lights on either side and you want then you want to go click on both lights and you want to go down to shadow down bottom right in your object um, toolbar and you want to go shadow, shadow maps, soft and then put it about 80% and see what it looks like. Nope, I haven't done my render settings. Uh, basic render settings, output 1920 by 1200, save as a PNG, alpha channel, you can save as whatever you want, just call it bed, uh, multipass, nothing, anti-analyzing, geometry best, options, stereos don't know. Ambient occlusion, you leave that, um, color correction, contrast, 10%, effect, back to effect, depth of field, global illumination, color mapping, and that's about it for now. Now when you go and check it, as you can see you're getting these nice shadows under it. May as well just add, um, quickly add a, uh, so what you want to do is go to your texture, so create a new texture, load image, I'm going to use dark wood, yes. Drag your brightness of the color down to 0%. So you've got that, and then you want to go to matte and you want to drag it over. So you've got that like that, and now you want to go get from uh, Google just like a white sheet texture. So we can find something quickly. Yeah, anything will do really. It's nice. Uh, of course it isn't. Where to screw me over? Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. So save images. Save again. Again. Load image. Um, desktop. Yes. Zero percent. Drag and drop. And there you have it. When you render that, it will look half decent as a bed.
So yeah, um, I hope this tutorial helped you out. Um, please like, comment, favorite, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Don't feel inclined to. It would just help me out in the long run. Uh, go feel free to go check out my other videos. I recently posted one that got a lot of views and a lot of recognition, and it would help if you were new to go check that one out as well. Um, yeah, we'll talk later. Peace.